Okay, welcome back to AlgoJS. Today's question is leak code 366, find the use of a binary tree. So given the root of a binary tree, collect a tree's nodes as if you were doing this. Collect all the leaf nodes, remove all the leaf nodes, repeat until the tree is empty. So the first stage is to collect all the leaf nodes, which is four, five, and three in this case, then collect two, which is the second set of leaf nodes, and then one. So the most intuitive way of solving this problem is to use a DFS recursive solution. And in this solution, we're going to be using a post order traversal. And this is left, right, root, in terms of the ordering of the nodes that we visit. And the reason we do this is because we want to get the child nodes to begin with. So the way we're going to do this is by defining the depths. So the first depth within a post order traversal will be this depth, and this will be set as zero. Then this will be one in terms of depth, two, and then with the right side of post order traversal, this depth is going to be zero as well, because this is the deepest level within the right side of the tree. So the trick of this question is how are we going to store all these values in order? Well, we're going to need some kind of auxiliary data structure. And in this case, we are going to use an object and we're going to map each value at the specific depth. So let's run through this example. So with post order reversal, we go down to the left. So we go down to the left. We see two has a left child. We go down to that left. We try four's child, left child, which is going to be null. So in this case, we can return up a value. So if root is equal to null, we can just return zero. Then we need to visit the right side in post order reversal. So this is also going to be null. So we can return up zero. So at this point, we have to make an additional check. So we have to find the maximum depth from either the left subtree or the right subtree. So it's going to be the max between zero and zero. And this will become more obvious when we reach further up the tree. So we've got the maximum, we've got the depth, which we said at the start, which is going to be zero. We have worked it out, we've calculated that. However, we need to populate this object now. So the key is going to be the depth that we're currently on, and the value is going to be an array. So if this value or if this depth is not already within the object, we can define that and then push in the current node we're on. And finally, we need to determine what we're gonna return up the tree from four. Because we have the level of depth here, we have the connection between four and two, we need to update the depth. So depth plus one. So we're gonna pass up from here, one. And then we're gonna go down the right side with the post order reversal. So we get to five. We see that five, so left child is equal to null and the right child is equal to null. So these can both return zero. It's the same as four. We calculate the maximum between the two, which is going to be zero. So this is at depth zero. So at this point, we can check within the object whether zero is within the object. It is. So we can push in five within the array. Then we pass up depth plus one, so zero plus one to two. We work out the maximum at two, which is going to be one. One is now the key. So we said that one was going to be the depth at the start. So one is going to be the key here. We're going to create a new array and we're just going to push that value within the array. Then we pass up depth plus one. So we're gonna pass up two to node one. But before we visit node one, we need to go down the right hand side. So three's left child is null, so that returns up zero. Three's right child is also null, so that returns up zero. So we work out the maximum between the two, so we're at depth of zero, so we can push in three within this array here. And then we can return from this depth plus one. Now here's where calculating the maximum is important because we have max between two and one. So we need to grab two from this so we know the maximum depth here. Now we can look within the object and see that two is not key within this object so we can create it. And the value for this is going to be an object which we can push in the node of one. And then we can return the values of this object using object dot values. Time complexity of this algorithm is going to be on because we traverse every node within the tree and space complexity is also going to be on because we are utilizing a stack data structure. We aren't exactly going to be including this within our space complexity because this is part of the output. Okay, so let's first define the res object. We're going to need a function called DFS and we're going to pass in root. We need to set the base case. So if root is equal to null, we return zero. Then we do post order traversal. So we do the left first, so DFS root dot left. Then the right. 
and then we work out the maximum depth. So we'll just call this depth, which is equal to math.max, left and right. And now we can check within the result object if we have that particular key. So if res at depth is not present, then we create res at depth and we have it equal to root.val. Else we just push into res at depth root.val. And finally, what we need to return up the tree is depth plus one. And then we can return object dot values passing in the result object submit it and there you go